All right, y'all, so our next area tour, we're gonna take you to two places that a lot of people are thinking it's just one, and that's Berea and San Susi. Technically, they're two different towns, and we're gonna unpack them separately to tell you all the cool things about them. So let's get started. Berea was incorporated in the late 1800s, named after the staple church of Berea First Baptist Church. So Berea's a little bit different. A lot of towns in the upstate were focused around uh, mill villages and plants and the industry. But Berea, being on the Reedy River, had really fertile soil and focused on agriculture to supply the food and livestock needed to keep those places running. Then fast forward to the mid 1900s and Berea turns into a bedroom community servicing Greenville and a lot of neighborhoods start popping up. Now let's talk about San Susi, which is just to the east of Berea and is an awesome town that gets its name from the French word of carefree or no worries, which is a cool lifestyle they've adopted in this region. And the area was named after the 1865 appointed governor Perry after his vast estate in the upstate. Fast forward, in 1905, it turns into a girl's home and then eventually into the country club of San Susi. And just like Berea, San Susi, located on the Reedy River, is a bedroom community supporting downtown Greenville with some cool eateries and some really awesome attractions. When it comes to food, this place is not lacking. You've got the historic Big Clock restaurant of Berea. And if you know anything about the upstate, there are clock restaurants everywhere but this one's the Big Clock of Berea. Ranging anywhere from chicken fingers to hot dogs and barbecue, the Big Clock restaurant of Berea is a place to go. Also, you've got Capri's Pizzeria, which you know us, we're into pizza, and it is an awesome local pizza spot that you need to check out. And if you haven't made the trip to Swamp Rabbit Cafe and Grocery, you need to make it a priority. Whether you're coming down the Swamp Rabbit Trail on your bike or rollerblades, or whether you pulled up on your car, Swamp Rabbit Cafe is fantastic, and their turkey salad sandwich is one to die for. And the best part, all their food is locally sourced, so it is really the best of the upstate in a bun. The coolest part about Berea and San Susi is it's located on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. For those of y'all that don't know what that is, it's an abandoned railroad bed that they have made into running and biking and jogging paths. This trail leads from Traveler's Rest all the way into downtown Greenville for 19 miles and is a true attraction. So whether you're on the trail or not, you need to swing into Hampton Station. It is one of the coolest redevelopments in all of Greenville. They have taken an old mill and turned it into an awesome place to gather and have a sense of community. Two of my favorite places in there is White Duck Tacos and Birds Fly South Brewery. And one thing you need to mark your calendar for is the next Greenville Triumph game, which is our local minor league MLS soccer team. And it is not just a soccer game, it is an experience. It is like a European soccer game right here in Berea San Susi. The cool about Berea San Susi when it comes to real estate is it's right near downtown and the houses are typically a little more affordable. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to go in and renovate and upfit to bring in the modern standards that you know and like today, but it gives you a clean palette to make the home your own and also be in a great location. We hope you liked watching this video as much as we liked making it. As always, do me a little favor and hit that like and subscribe so we can keep these videos coming to your inbox and hopefully you learn to love Greenville as much as we do.